This is a quiz that will tell you whether or not you married the wrong person. If you married the wrong person, then probably nothing that you do in your marriage is going to fix things, and the only solution is getting a divorce. You may go decades of living with this person, miserable every single step of the way, and constantly trying to fix things and never able to, because they're just not the right one. On the other side, marriage is difficult, and when you become married to somebody, you've just got to figure out how to sort through things and get along. This quiz discerns between the first group and the second group. Question number one, are they physically abusive to you and you are not physically abusive of them? If the answer is yes, give yourself one point. Question number two, are they verbally abusive of you? Meaning they put you down, they call you names, they insult you, and you are not verbally abusive of them? If so, give yourself one point. Question number three, are they sexually abusive of you and you are not sexually abusive of them? By sexually abusive, I mean do they force sex? Do they cheat on you? Do they use sex in order to manipulate you, perhaps by denying sex? If yes, give yourself a third point. Question number three, are they not a partner, but you are being a partner? A partner is someone who somehow divides up the responsibilities in the home. Different people divide up those responsibilities in different ways. Ideally, both of you would be working until the work is done. But in this case, the person either does not have a job or they do not attend to household responsibilities with children. Neither of them. But you are attending to these things. If so, give yourself one point. And last question, and this is really the kicker. If they got points in any of these previous things that I talked about, a single point, multiple points, and they refuse any sort of intervention or therapy or reading a book together or doing anything to overcome these things, they are unwilling to go and get help. Give yourself one point. This is what I would say. If they got one point in any of the first categories that I said, not including the last one, and they're not willing to get therapy, it's done. It's never going to work out. You need to just leave. They are abusive and you are not abusive and they're not willing to do anything to get help. If they're abusive in more than one of those two categories and you're not abusive, even if they're willing to go get help, it's not, it's not a thing that's going to work out. You need to just leave. This person is abusive in multiple ways towards you and you're not abusive in any of these ways back to them. This is, this is not a thing that's going to work out. You're married to the wrong person. They can go and be married to someone who is also abusive but you're not abusive and you should not be tolerating this kind of abuse. Even if they're getting help, this is the wrong person and it's time for you to get a divorce. One last category I forgot to add on there and that is um, abusing drugs or alcohol. Um, the person is using, um, I say abusing, they, they are addicted to uh, drugs or alcohol and uh, you are not addicted to drugs and alcohol and um, you know, it's really negatively impacting your life and their life, I would say, add yourself another point. This would go into the first several questions that I asked, though not the final question. So in this case, if they do have this problem, but they're seeking out help and they don't have any of the other categories of abuse, that can still be something you potentially could work with. But, um, but if they've got two categories, that and they're also abusing, you're abusing drugs and they're abusing you, even if they're getting help and you're not abusing them and you're not abusing drugs, it's not going to work out. Are there maybe exceptions to this? possibly one in a billion, but most likely, I mean, they're an abusive person. You're not an abusive person. And, um, it's just, it's just not going to work out. You need to go find somebody else. You're just going to spend decades with this person being miserable and coming from hundreds and hundreds of people that I've worked with, they'd say, get out. It's not worth it. You're going to waste your whole life on this person and you're going to have a terrible life. So get away as fast as you can. You are with the wrong person.